Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Today, we are hopping right back down here to check out all the mini games waiting for us in the Star Cutter lore. There is actually quite a few of them to get through and I think they all have their own difficulty settings, so I didn't really need to hop into this one, but we'll be getting through each one of them and just having a lot of fun with it. So I figure we'll start with this one to the left and make our way down, this is Booming Blasters. So let's take a look at this one, Booming Blasters, and they all have different like levels, and I think, you know, a tutorial, so it's gonna take us time to get through each one. The Booming Blasters tutorial. Blast your rivals with shots using B. Hold B down to fire off an overhead shot. Hit rivals twice to level up your shots. Be careful not to run out of ammo. Pick up energy capsules to recharge. Dodge shots from your rivals by pressing A to jump. When a Super Blaster appears, use it to take out multiple rivals at once with a piercing super shot. It can even blast through walls. All right, that's really cool. So let's try out level one right here. Give it a go and see how we can handle booming blasters. Now, a lot of these, oh, and these do use, do these use Magdalene tickets? I, I can't really see there. We're going against computers, but uh, let's go forward. It's gonna charge up big time and try to blast you. Okay, ooh. Oh, that's sort of miss. Okay, so there's like an arcing shot when you do that. Um, gotta keep that in mind, but I hit somebody over there. Uh, let's grab this item and then, oh no, ooh. There we go, come on, that's gotta hit you. Not quite. Oh man, this is pretty scary so far. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can just jump over the, whoa, that's tricky. There we go, I leveled up with that one. Um, and I'll try to, King DDD or something, this is so tough. This is way harder than I thought it would be. Here, hold on. Oh, got you good with that one. What about this one? Almost got Meta Knight with it. And then over here, let's try to get one more there. This is pretty cool so far, but, uh, I need to hit more people. What about this thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I pressed it too soon, but I was still able to hit Meta Knight with it. Awesome. And then I'm gonna hit King DDD over there who hasn't taken any damage yet. Pretty crazy. So we're at max level at the moment. Gotcha. And then I'll try to launch this at you. Oh, that got you good. Cause it has a little explosion now. So if I go like this, oh, you're in so much trouble. Boom, got you good. So it's just me and King DDD. So we can sort of walk up and brute force it and get the win. That was great. This is really cool. So there we go. There's our first boom blasters victory getting first place finish. All right, great job, Kirby. You unlocked new ways to play level two and three. So I figure we'll try to complete each difficulty. None of this um, contributes to the percentage completion, but I feel like, you know, it's all fun to check out and have fun with. Looks like this time we have a, uh, okay, didn't quite get you there. I'll try to hit you like that. Whoa, oh, I almost got hit by that one. We got a green Kirby, a Dan Waddle Dee, and Meta Knight to fight this time. I like how Meta Knight has his own little master. It's like a little Magalore themed one. Okay, I'm gonna level up like that. I need to make sure I'm actually picking these up. Yeah, because you only have so many shots. This is your ammo. I see how it works now. Oh, and I got Green Kirby with that one. Ah, oh, but you got me back. And they're at max level, so it's a little bit scary, but I'll try to, oh, get rid of Meta Knight like that. Then if we can pick up more stuff. Oh, you are in so much trouble, dude. You are in, ah, no, I missed it. Darn, that was close though. Oh, got you mid jump. So me and Green Kirby really duking it out here. Um, gonna try to launch one of those over and lands right on top of you. So if I can just walk up in front of you like this, come on. Oh, wait, wait, gotcha. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. So there we go, another victory. That one was a lot faster. And there we go, first place. Actually, it wasn't a lot faster. It was still within a minute or so. So uh, there we go. Let's go for our last difficulty here and see if we can win Boom Blasters at the maximum. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna launch that over and try to hit somebody straight away. Oh boy. Oh, we, we canceled each other's blaster. Gonna take that from you. Because Meta Knight's almost out of shots. Yeah, there he goes. So now he's sort of a sitting duck in a way. He's just gotta run from my shots. Stuck in the corner, what is he gonna do? Oh, no wait. Gotcha, I'm just gonna take that from you and then over here, grab this one. So that's a good strategy, is that once they run out of energy, just stay on top of them. And what can they do about it, you know? Okay, launch that. And also while they try to pick up another one. Ooh, some really good strategies coming out of this. I'm starting to take some damage now too though. Um, we'll get over here. 
Oh, whoa. We're at max level now, so these shots are going pretty crazy. Oh, you got the super. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to avoid that. I think I knocked them off though, so maybe they lost it. Okay, Meta Knight's out. And then we can maybe hit you. Oh, ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, this is getting scary now. Gonna launch this over. I gotta be able to hit somebody. Oh no. Ah! Okay, I dodged it, I dodged it. That's actually a pretty big deal. And I get rid of Blue Kirby. We're down to two hits left, but so is, oh no, we actually can Dana Waddle these now down to one. And we get you with one final shot. That was so cool. All right. So Boom Blaster's all finished up in all three difficulties. I'll try my best to get every difficulty defeated. If we don't end up making it happen, so be it, but I'll give it my best shot for sure. That was really cool. So let's quit out of this one. Let's try out the next mini game. You can tell this is gonna take us a while to get through every single one of them. There's just so many to enjoy. But that does get us a one up, which we don't really need. Oh, that gives us a lot more tickets too. So yeah, we're at 56 tickets so far. We'll have to pay attention to how many we might drop and how many we might gain. But Maglor's Tome Trackers is our next one. Let's read the tutorial for this. Find the magic tome with the same cover image that Maglor is picturing. Press A to jump and up or B to retrieve the tome. So it's like a matching game. After last chance begins, the points will be doubled. Find as many gold magic tomes as you can to make a stunning comeback victory. It seems pretty simple, but maybe it'll get a little bit more complicated once we jump in. Just match it to whatever Magalore is saying. I really do like it, a very cool aesthetic with everything. All right, let's give it a go, guys. So, what are you gonna be thinking of? I guess we have to wait. So we wanna be in a good position. I wanna stay near the green ones, because that'll be the highest chance. There we go. Oh, I see, so it's not only the color, but the symbol on it, too. So it's this green one with, no, not that one. Whoops, my controller, I did not mean to press that. That was Elflin on there, that's cool. So a lot of these mini games are new to this one. I think they might all be, like, I don't really know. Did this just deluxe version. Oh, there it is, there it is. Um, got it. And I think we can go to the left and pop out on the other side, which can be useful, right over here. So far, we are destroying in points. Gonna be the green cherry right over here, so I just need to get it real quick. Oh man, it's all about fast oh, reaction. I keep doing that. What's happening is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller's D-pad isn't so good, and when I do left and right, sometimes it thinks I'm pressing up. Uh, we'll just use the analog stick. Okay, now we got the green. Oh, wait, there's another one, there's another one. So this is where people can catch up because they're golden and they give extra points. Okay, it's gonna be the mushroom right here, and then there's another one up there. Couldn't quite get it, that's fine. Um, as long as we can, ooh, sword right there, and then there's another sword right there. I got two of them. If we can keep up with the rest of the competition, we'll be fine. We don't need every single one of them. There's another one right there. Five seconds remaining. Um, it's gonna be this little sword heart thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be. We got all three of those. We're destroying them. So that was an amazing score. I think we're gonna be far and away ahead of these three. Yeah, it looks like it. My score is 23 points, and the other two tied for second with seven. Really good stuff. You've unlocked new ways to play, level two and three. So let's try level two. And let's see, let's just position ourselves like this. It's going to be right over here. So this one's all about like, you know, like informational processing, I suppose. And this is definitely something that's like, you know, very helpful to get better at. So it's a fun mini game to sort of train your brain a little bit. There we go. We got uh, this little tulip over here. For me, first thing I'm looking for is the color. So if it's red, the first thing I'm gonna look for is like the, you know, the red ones, where are they? And then, whoa, a mystery. Oh, so he has to clean it off? That is so cool. Okay, that's definitely a cherry. There you go. Blue heart, there's only two blue ones right down there. And last she has coming up, I've gotten every single one of them. So they're all gonna be golden this time, and it's gonna be um, the elf one. Oh, there's a lot of elf one, and I stole two of them. Uh, Okay, got it up here, and then there's another one right there, but they beat me to it. Okay, uh, right there, and then there's another one down here. Ah, Vandana Waddle got me, but it's okay. Where are the swords at? Okay, there's one sword right here. I think we definitely have enough points to win this, but cannon, 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 right over there to the left. It is a lot harder when they're all the same color. But, we did really good. We didn't get quite a knockout score as last time, but 19 points is still really nice. As you could tell, like, Yellow Kirby, all they got were the golden tomes because I didn't leave anything else for anybody. So let's try level three. Let's see if we can win this one on the first try. Might not be so easy. Okay, blue one, candy, got it. Next up, green, right there. Oh, they didn't pick up on it in time. Green sword, right there. 
uh, green parasol. Oh, you're right on top of it, lucky you. Okay, the red one, right there. Green, oh wow, some of these guys are really quick now. Um, it's right over here, can I get it now? <laughs> you got, you beat me there. Um, red cannon, oh, they are so quick now. Um, green power star, okay, wow. Um, they are really not messing around anymore. Uh-oh, backwards, uh, oh, this one, star rod. Last chance coming up here. We are in the lead, but not by much. Okay, what do we got next time? Um, green candy, 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 candy. Uh, there's one, there's one up here. Got it. Uh, the, the ship, the star cutter. I see another one down here. If we could double up, that's gonna put us ahead by a lot. Um, cherry, right there. And then there's another one there. I couldn't quite beat Meta Knight from it. Um, green mushroom, right here. And another one. Ooh, getting those two for one steals. Cannons right there. And I see not any more cannons. Uh, Okay, really good stuff. I think we played super well, and that should be our third win. It is? Okay, that was a lot of fun. All right, feeling good. So with that done, let's quit out of that minigame. Both minigames we've tried so far have been a blast. Really happy to see that. It makes me curious, what, what are the minigames gonna be like at Magoland? Are they gonna be different minigames, you know? I'm not really sure. But hey, we get a bunch more tickets for it. We're at the 59 now. See, it doesn't seem like it costs a ticket to play these. Um, let's go to the egg catcher though. This is a classic one that's in Kirby's adventure, but well, we'll see it here. Uh, press A to open Kirby's mouth wide. Both eggs and bombs will be tossed your way. Try to catch as many eggs as you can. Don't eat the bombs. This one's all about timing. It could be pretty tough, but it's a single player minigame, I think. I don't I don't see how you could play this one multiplayer. <laughs> it's a little King Dedede robot, because it can't be King Dedede, I guess. Because you know, that's who you're usually playing as, or at least a character you can play as. So we just need to open Kirby's mouth to eat the eggs, avoid the bombs, and it's all that sort of crazy timing. This would get really difficult in the original NES game, Kirby's Adventure. But, oh, I pressed A too soon, that's not what I wanted. So I got a lot of them, but not all of them. So let's try that again. I got just a little excited. High score is 22. Let's just go for it again. Yep, I know about that, but. Level one, I wanna get it perfect if possible. I'm sure level two and level three will make it really crazy. Okay, I'm ready. Got it. I'm gonna dodge three bombs, bunch more eggs. I don't really see the appeal of eating raw eggs like this, but you know, if Kirby doesn't mind, I suppose. Kirby doesn't seem like much of a picky eater. Gotcha, gotcha and dodging that one, two more eggs, three more eggs, and we're good. So there we go, that's a perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh, whoa, <laughs> falling into pieces. All right, high score and a perfect score. So we'll try that for the, oh, the little chickens. Oh, I guess they're little like, baby ducklings maybe? It's, it's hard to tell, they're little chicks either way. So cute, so adorable. Uh, let's select their next difficulty, level two right here. All right, we can do this one. And this is where it steps up way more. Cause you need to like let the bomb hit you, but or let the bomb like, you know, bounce off your head and then immediately open your mouth after. And that's just where it can get really crazy. To get a perfect score is gonna take a lot of trial and error, but I wanna try it at least a good couple of times with each difficulty. I don't know if we will get it, but you no, know, it's just worth trying. Okay, you can get another go. Ah, it's so difficult. <laughs> oh man, that one was pretty good though. I think I'll leave it like that. I was getting pretty far with that, but that last little bit at the end is a little tricky. So 26 is our high score. Let's try the next difficulty just to see how crazy it gets. So let's let difficulty get a level three and try this one out. Obviously with this, you know, you're just sort of trying your best to beat your score and get a perfect one. But I want to give this a go. Oh my gosh. And like, oh no, we'll restart right away. It's really just about trying to pay attention to like the noise of Kirby's, the bomb hitting Kirby's head and bouncing off. Okay, ah, oh, darn, and then one egg comes and I, I sort of get panicked and I mess it up. It's really difficult to get a good groove with that, for sure. And the original is really challenging too. And obviously I, I could spend all day getting a little bit better at it so that we could get a perfect score, but would rather, you know, try out the other mini games, have some good times with those, but uh, I really feel like it bounced off of me there. Okay, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. We'll go to the, some of the other ones. 13 is our high score. Definitely beatable, definitely beatable, but 
Maybe we'll save some other time to beat it. Because a lot of these minigames I think we're revisiting when we take on Mary Magdaland. You know, today is just sort of a final send off of the main game. See how we can unlock this stuff here. So there we go, we still get three tickets for it. We get tickets for trying this stuff, so it's like well worth doing this. We have Samurai Kirby as our next one. This one's exciting. Press A at the moment you see an exclamation mark appear. You can also play using a Joy-Con or motion controls. Play solo for intense one-on-one -on -one sword duels. In multiplayer duels, the first player to reach a set number of victories will be made the winner. So this one's all about reaction time, something I, I try to do my best with. <laughs> I don't know, I struggled with this one. This is another one that's actually from Kirby's Adventure. Well, sort of, it was a quick draw, but similar concept. So we wait. Ah, oh, I got him, okay, there we go, we're the winner. And it's only little fans, they're not actually swords. Okay, now we're going against uh, the Shaft Kawasaki. Oh, I got him. Will he pie in the face too? So we just had that fast reaction time. It tells us our reaction time on the bottom right. Against King DDD now. Oh, it's a little, a little celebration thing. Very cool. Now against Mag Magalore though. Oh, I got gotcha. you with a 14 reaction time that time. That was pretty good. Oh no, Meta Knight. Now I'm a little scared. I got you, whoa! We unmasked Meta Knight with that slice. Five beaten, fastest time is 14. I don't think I can really beat that, but you unlock new ways to play normal and hard. So that was the easy version? Oh no, let's try normal and see if I can keep up. It's the same game again, it's just you have to be faster. So against Bandana Waddle Dee. I'm able to beat you right away. 13 might be my new record. Okay, cool. Thirteen again? Okay, getting a bit consistent with it. That's good. What can we take on King Dedede? Okay, I I'm in 13 three times in a row. That's pretty good. Oh no, I pressed A by mistake. Ah, okay. So that's what happens if you make that mistake. Don't wanna press it too soon. Ah, 16 that time. But we're still able to get Magalore with that. Okay. Uh, Let's go for it again. This is Meta Knight, the last one. Ooh, so I guess we're going undefeated with this. Except for the one silly mistake I made. Fastest time, 13. Five beaten, can we do it again on hard mode? Let's just hop in and find out. This one's so cool. Uh, it just, it's such a simple one, but such an intense concept. Okay, that was a little scary. I thought they really had us waiting for that one. Now we get Chef Kawasaki again. Seventeen. I'm getting a little bit slower. Getting a little fatigued. That's okay. We'll just keep going until it, 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 we get beaten. Come on, we can beat you. Fifteen. That's a little bit better. We're still beating them with this, but this is where it gets a little bit scary, right? Oh, I gotcha, 14 again. So if I can get a 13, maybe that'd be enough to defeat Meta Knight here. It's the last one. Oh, I gotcha, awesome. So 14, five beans. So I guess, you know, getting a 13 a couple times, that's awesome. So we did it, we, we beat all the difficult. I feel really accomplished right now, that's amazing. I'd love to hear some of the reaction times you guys have gotten if you played that mini game. How low could you get it? All right, so let's see what's next. Another mini game waiting for us, but three more tickets for trying that one. And over here we have Checkerboard Chase. Oh, this one has four levels of difficulty. We'll try each one, I guess. Aim at your rivals and press A to attack. That will drop a li the line of floor blocks beneath them and cause them to fall. Huh. 
As your rivals are eliminated, the, the stage will get smaller and smaller. Try to be the last one standing. It's almost like Bomberman in a way. Huh. I thought this is one of those ones we'll figure it out a little bit more as we start playing. So we just walk up, we press A. Okay, and there's no way to jump or anything. So what we could do is maybe just corner people a little bit. Okay, yep, see ya, <laughs> all right. I'll look like that, okay. And then get over here. No way, okay. I see you over here. Somehow I didn't get you, but I can get King D to D like that, make you fall. And if two of us sort of team up on the others, because now I can just sort of get you trapped. That's like a good thing to keep in mind. Obviously, they could do that to me. That's my first bit of health loss, so not too big of a deal. Um, I will try to get over here and just, once again, continually cut you guys off until, where are you gonna go, right? There you go. Make you fall again? Oh, not quite. This is what's gonna make, you know, everything a little bit smaller. Ah, darn. There you go, now you have really nowhere to go. So, some of these enemies losing their health pretty quick. Oh, I can make one more fall right there. They don't attack super often. Uh, oh, here comes the platform getting smaller. It's just me and Yellow Kirby. Yellow Kirby's gonna fall and we'll be named the victor for the easy difficulty. All right. So we get first place with a minute and four seconds. Not too bad, even lot of new to play, normal, hard, and intense. So I'll give a try to each one. I don't know if we'll just go for the win each time and just sort of see what happens. Okay, Meta Knight's gonna fall straight away. I'm gonna try to get you a little bit. Come on, oh, you're in trouble, you're in trouble. It doesn't really matter who gets rid of them as long as they get, oh no, their health, I held right there. <laughs> My Kirby still went up, very silly. Um, But you two are already in trouble, go, I am i don't know. The movement's very weird. Maybe I should be using the analog stick instead because just using the directional pad in most situations for the pro controller just never feels so good. Oh man, just barely walking away in time. See, this is where I'm in trouble. Uh, okay, I can move. And then I can try to get Meta Knight a little bit. See ya. <laughs> Meta Knight really struggling there. He gets eliminated. Oh, I gotta be out of that. Oh, they're falling. Okay, it's just me, Green Kirby, and Yellow Kirby. Yellow Kirby is about to lose the rest of his health if I hit him right there, maybe? Right there. See ya. Now it's just me and Green Kirby. What are you gonna do? Nothing, we win another. That one was a little bit more difficult. For sure we lost two health instead of one, but we're keeping up no problem. All right, another first place finish, and a lot faster that time too. So let's select our difficulty and try hard mode. Okay. Try to get you, oh, you got me though. See, that's the problem, you don't want them to attack you right as you're revving up, because there's not really too much of a way to dodge it when it happens. Okay, King DVD's falling. Cause that could be another thing to do is maybe you just don't want to focus too much on attacking right at the beginning. And instead try to scout everybody else out and dodge them. Ah, oh, I thought I could have gotten out of the way of that one. Alright, I'm spawning in over here. So we've lost two points of health, which is definitely a concern, but I can get rid of one of them there. Alright, alright. Uh, I wanna go up here. And try to get you. Oh now you're in trouble. See ya DDD. That was great actually. Oh man, it's actually a little scary, but Meta Knight doesn't have much place to go. Same thing with King DDD here, he's trapped. So everybody's getting pretty low. We have the most health for the moment. Oh, where are you gonna go, where are you gonna go? Oh, this is pretty good for me. Okay, so it's just me and Ben down at Waddle D. He's down to two health. Oh, he's gonna make us both fall at the same time. I'm willing to make that trade though, because it gets me the win. All right. We're getting the hang of this pretty quick. Let's go for one more. Select our difficulty and try intense. Oh wow, look at this stage here. This is so cool. We're just way up in space. So I'll try my best, but now I'm sort of trapped in the corner. That's where things can get really risky. Oh, wait a minute. It is still sort of like Bomberman in some ways, but also not really. I feel like, you know, moving around on this checkerboard pattern, we need to be very careful about which positioning and how we want to trap other players. Things like that make it feel like, oh man, ah, I did not mean to fall there, but that's only my first bit of health loss. I'm a little confused on where to go here. I lost my character there from what I didn't realize I spawned in there. Okay, oh my goodness, oh, that was very silly of me. This really is intense, huh? Oh, come on, give me a chance here to actually do something. I'm gonna be the first one out. Uh-oh. Oh, there I go, darn. So I'm out, let's go ahead and restart, yeah, just restart it real quick. Uh, and I'll give it one more real go here. 
That one was a bit of a struggle, but I think we can get King ZKD. Get falling down like this. Poor yellow Kirby spawns in right where he just falls. Oh, okay, I'm gonna fall from that one, but so is everybody else. Oh no, don't be silly, don't be silly. I think I can get King DDD here, right? Oh, he might get me too, though. It's a trade, it's a trade. I'm way over here now. Uh, not going that way. Okay, we'll try running off here. Okay, Bandana Waddle D's fallen. Gotcha. Like this, maybe? Oh, both of us trading off again. That's fine, I think. Oh, no, that's not fine. I didn't realize I was down there, so I'm down to my last little bit of health here. Bandana Waddle D on a bit of a rampage. That will help out a bunch. No, 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 okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, okay, where are you gonna go from here? Uh, it's a little weird. No, see, like, what do I do in that moment? I don't know. He outplayed me pretty good. So Bandana Waddle D gets him in there. I'll take a second place. Second place is fine for me. Um, see, good job for that. I got three wins. That's enough to keep me happy. Let's quit out of this one. Get our three Magaland tickets. And see what next mini game is waiting for us. That was a fun one, though. Awesome. Get a one up that we don't need. And then over here we have Bomb Rally. Ooh, this looks fun. When a bomb comes flying your way, press A to pass it on to an opponent. You can also play using a Joy-Con and motion controls. Press A before the bomb arrives to swap which hand holds the frying pan. Then you'll send the bomb back as a reverse hit. So we can either hit it to the next player or back to the player who sent it to us. Huh. The timing of your hit will determine its speed. Wait until the bomb draws near, then smash. That's cool, but if we wait too long, that's an issue too. All right, let's give it a go. Bomb rally. Wow, this one's so vibrant too. Okay, so do I start? I do. Gotcha. Everyone's just smacking around a little bit. So I could send it right back at you, but if I don't, yeah, if I don't do it super, there you go. Oh, Meta Knight's getting knocked out from that one. Down to three, right? <laughs> Interesting. There we go. Oh, you're just, <laughs> interesting that it just, huh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. So it's just me and you, buddy. Sort of. But that makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's see if we can't switch it up on you a little bit. Oh, we win. Okay, so easy difficulty, not too bad. <laughs> Pretty fun one. We got a high score of 35 seconds and we have levels two and three unlocked, so let's try that out right now. I thought this is definitely one of those ones that would be a lot more difficult online. Let's give it a go. I wanna hit it like really late this time. That's my goal, is just to see how fast we can knock it over like that. Ah, okay, so that's the limit of it right there. Now I know. Didn't know if we could like hit it super, super quick. That's okay. Do what we can with this for switching around. I'll never know. Got it. That I think is a perfect timing. Got it. Oh, and King D to be knocked out from that one. So it's the screen Kirby in down a lot of the and us. Okay, what I wanna do here. Oh, I surprised you pretty good with that one, huh? All right. So it seems like it sort of mimics whatever hit the previous person did in that way. And there we go, we're able to win the level two difficulty. With a 30 second high score, pretty nice. So let's try level three really quick. This one really does have so many more mini games than the previous curvy games really usually do. Pretty cool. All right, gotcha. That was good, but not good enough. This is the final difficulty after all. The challenge really steps up. I really wanna get King DDD, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Well, ah, oh, okay, that time I got a little too excited with it. Darn, so let's restart. I really wanna 
try to win this one. So we'll give it one more good go. We'll get started again, as per usual, because we're the only not computer player. Okay, now we got you. <laughs> awesome. Knocking it all back and forth like that. I think at this point, yeah, we just hit it back and forth between these two. There we go, so it's just me and Meta Knight. And this is where it gets a little weird. I don't like it too much when it's just somebody way over there. I just feel like it gets, whoa, a little bit boring, but there we go. I guess not, I mean, it's still pretty active just because they bounce it back at the same speed that we hit it, so it'll be really quick. But there we go, we're able to win all three of the difficulties out of that one, that was really cool, really fun. Definitely enjoyed it. And that's it for this level, we can hop down to the last one. So I guess just, you know, still a few more mini games here that we can get tickets from. Let's start with this one all the way to the left, which is going to be Crackety Crack. This one's from um, Amazing Mirror, one of my favorites. I think it's originally from Amazing Mirror. Press A to stop the gauge. Try to stop it at the highest point possible. When the markers overlap, press A to unleash a rock splitting crackety hack. Yeah, crackety hack, not crackety crack. <laughs> Do your best to split the ground apart and reach the deepest depths of the planet pop star. That is so cool. So let's try that level one. This one's just very memorable for me. So very excited to try it. I wonder if they'll have the Kirby surfing one. That was my favorite too. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But our, our goal right now is just to get the meter as high as possible and then time it just right for a super slam. And how far into the ground will we go? We're cracking through the crust of Popstar. Oh man. Whoa. We won, we won 999 all the way to the other side. <laughs> Blow the little waddle dee out of the water. <laughs> That's amazing. It's nighttime on that side. That was so cool. So there's our high score for that, 999.99. That's the highest score you can get. Um, and we've unlocked levels two and three, where I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult to get that high score. Um, because I think the meter will start moving faster, but we just need that as, yeah, high up to the top as we can make it. Oh yeah, it's definitely moving faster. Oh, that was a full. Okay. Oh, this time I'm definitely a little bit late. I don't know if we beat the competition as much. We're at 300, it's still going. It's still going, and I just barely beat purple there. I think that was Meta Knight. All right, awesome. So, with that done, um, let's select our final difficulty and see if we can't get another win. This one's super quick, but just very addicting, a lot of fun. Oh, there's like little cosmic purple stuff going around the rocks now. Was that a thing before? No way. Oh, I almost got perfect every time. That was amazing. Okay, the punch could have been a bit better, that lineup, but it's okay. That was still a really good score, so let's see what we get here. Can I beat the competition? So we get deeper and deeper. Ah, oh, no! Darn, I tied with someone, too. Huh. That's still really, really cool. Um, I think that we'll just leave it like that, then. Still fun to check this out. One of my favorite mini games. Might retain that, that status here. We'll have to wait and see as we try them all, which one will be my favorite. And get some stuff there. Great, great, great. So let's see what this is about. Smash Ride. Whoa. I don't know this one. Um, wait, yeah, let's see the tutorial. Control your smash jar by aiming it with the analog stick, then moving forward using A. Bump your rivals out of the ring to earn points. Just hold A to charge up and attack, then smash. Defeat your formidable rivals from the band of thieves known as the Squeaks for extra points. Huh, oh yeah, it's like a little squeak squad. Squeaks, that's so cute. All right then, so we'll try this one out, sort of reminding me of Kirby's Air Ride, the game for the GameCube. Whoa, okay. So it's a little interesting, right? So I could just like run straight in the Meta Knight there. The only problem is you could definitely accidentally charge yourself off if you're not careful. But I could just bump into Meta Knight there and then, oh no, whoa, come on. Gotcha, the two for one. Oh no, ooh. I'm all over the place right now, but I'm trying to send the squeak squad squeaks out of there. Oh, I just 
barely missed yet. There goes Meta Knight again. Okay, so there's not like an amount of lives or something. It's just about earning up as many points as possible within the time frame. Okay. Okay, so double tapping was it? Or I guess there's just different levels of charge. We just don't have to do a full charge every time. But if we do, it can be well worth it. Okay, gotcha. This is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. This is actually a really cool mini game. Oh, I tried to turn around on you. There we go. Got Meta Knight again. I keep getting him over and over. I got a bunch of people that time. That was great. So I think we were the winner for this one. Three points, four points, 20 points. Awesome. Feeling good. So let's try out our next difficulty then. We're not new ways to play. Select our next one. Okay, so gonna charge up. Gotcha. I might just, ooh, try to dodge out of the way for that. And then, ooh, there we go. See, sometimes just doing the weaker one. Ah, oh, see, we try to crash into each other, but because my charge wasn't as strong as theirs, I guess it just sent me flying. Something like that. There we go. Ooh. I'm doing pretty good now. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. But I can get them before they're done charging. Almost got gotcha. Got that too. That's another bonus set of points. Oh no, I need to move. Oh jeez, Meta Knight got me there. Some revenge, I suppose. Oh no, oh, I missed you there. And then they capitalized. Did I get them there? I don't think that counted for me. Got Meta Knight over this way. I wanna get the, okay, Meta Knight there, I guess. I was trying to go for that little squeak, but that wasn't so bad either. I think we still got our first place finish. Yep, 19 points, not quite as high this time. Obviously, as it gets more difficult, harder to keep up with those high scores. But we'll try one more time at level three. Can we get another one secure? That guy is a huge. Not gonna be easy to knock him off, huh? But I'll knock you off. Anybody who's trying to get him, I could just, oh gosh, get rid of them instead. There we go, come on, one more. Gotcha, three points for that one, but then somebody knocks me off. Oh, the double, and you, see ya. Okay, this is not what I want, I need to be really careful. Okay, that was a little crazy. Gonna get over here, and then I can do it, I stole it from you, so I might have gotten knocked off, but you know, three bonus points goes a long way. Oh no, oh, I gotta watch out for that. I'm in the lead for now. I want to keep it that way. Get the little crown over our head to, to show that, I suppose. Or maybe that means I'm just like so much in the lead that if you knock me off, you get bonus points or something. Not really sure. Ah, oh, the squeak got me. All right. I got one more point there at the end. All right, I think we won, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. We did. All right, 18 points, only one point less each time but only one point ahead of second place. So that did get a little bit scary there, I guess. That was a really fun mini game. Super well designed, for sure. So with that done, let's see what else is going on. I think we have two more mini games, right? Ooh, this next one looks fun. Three there. We're up to 77 Mary Magdalene tickets. Now we have Kirby on the draw. Aim at the target with the analog stick. Press A to fire. Try not to shoot any bombers. Okay. When you run out of bullets, press X to reload. You can't shoot targets while reloading, so make sure you time it carefully. If you run into difficulty when tilting the Joy-Con, press Y to reset the cursor at the center position. When playing solo, you can hold the system with one hand to touch the screen with the other to play. Tap the targets to fire, tap Kirby to reload. Okay, I can't do that one, obviously, because I'm recording off the Switch, so can't undock it, but you know, we can at least try out the controller here. Do I work with the analog stick then? I guess not the motion controls. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think it's just analog stick right now, so let's see what I can do. Boom, gotcha. Over there. This would be really interesting to try with touch screen though, for sure. Gotcha. Oh, I missed, there you go. So you gotta reload, but then you might miss your chance. Okay, nobody got the waddle dude, so I'll take it. Oh, that was good, the double. Oh yeah, don't go for the bomber. Oh, I gotta reload, gotta reload. I gotta keep in mind, just sort of mentally, how many shots we have. 
Oh, okay, now might be a good time. Oh, the. There we go. I think now, reloading. That was good timing. Whoa, there's guys everywhere. And they're just sort of looking at them for some reason. Okay. And I'll take whatever I can. I definitely think I'm in the lead for this one. Reloading really quickly. Oh, there's some behind them too. That was cool. We are stealing a bunch of these right now. And finish, we definitely won. I think without a shadow of a doubt, we got over a thousand points. Wow, look at us. Quite the quick shot, for sure. We've been locked levels two and three for that, so let's select our difficulty again and go for this one. All right, so. More of the same, we're just gonna be shooting everything that pops up except for the bombs. Gotcha. Luckily, you know, the computer sort of played with the same settings as we do, it seems. So it's sort of fair. Okay, you know what, I need to reload. Got it. I think we'll go for, yep, a few more. Reload there, gotcha. Ah, I pressed the wrong button, but I got that one. Oh no, whoa, that was so lucky. I almost hit that bomber. That would've been really not good. So now they can show up in front of obstacles, or I guess targets. Oh, Meta Knight giving us 100 points, that's cool. Got to reload right there. Look at the reload doesn't take very long. Got it. Ah, oh, I hit the bomber, that's gonna remove 50 points. Got a little too excited, just started firing, but I definitely think we still ended up enough to win. 970, so we're still blowing them away when it comes to score. And I'm gonna select a difficulty and go for our third one now, right here. So how does this work? Oh, I like how it's a different area. I'm gonna reload right there. Luckily, if you reload right after some targets pop up, it seems like it's enough time that I... Uh, You can fully reload before more stuff pops up. Over here, reloading real quick. I got one of them. Obviously different ones get different points. It can be hard to prioritize and recognize that though while you're going so fast. Gotcha, I got both of those. So out of ammo. Cool. Okay, I missed that one, unfortunately. I think we're, yeah, we're in the lead for right now. I guess the smaller targets might sometimes give a better score. I don't think I'm in the lead right now. I gotta really focus on just getting as many of these guys as we can. I don't know if we won, actually. Ooh, King Diddy stole it by a good chunk there. Maybe we can give it another go? All right, well, you know, we don't need to win every single one of them. I think we'll leave it. That was a lot of fun, though. That might actually take the cake for my favorite minigame so far. Just really fun idea. But we have one more minigame left to check out, so let's go see what that is after we get our three tickets. Right over here, this is Ninja Dojo. Ooh, so we're gonna start at an apprentice level difficulty. Swing the Joy-Con to throw your Ninja Star. You can also throw by pressing A. Try to hit the targets as it moves across the screen. The closer you are to the center, the more points you'll earn. Hit the yellow area for a bullseye bonus. Cool, so let's try Apprentice. This seems like a single player kinda mini game. Ninja Dojo. So this one's all simply about timing. Ready to begin your training? Then prepare your ninja stars. All right, Kirby, we got this. We just have to wait and then, ooh, okay, I see, I see. Not too bad. Hit, we got in the red, so that's 80 points. Not too bad. Here comes target two. Can we get a bullseye this time? Ah, oh, oh it was! Whoa, just barely though. 87 points. And a, third, a three times combo, whatever that said? I didn't see. Um, Final target. So yeah, there's different ways the targets might come across here. Whoa, another bullseye though. That was good. Two bullseye in a row is gonna give us 60 more points, I guess. All right, targets hit. Three of them, we'll get 342, that's a new record. So it's not really any winning and losing, it's just really pushing yourself to see how high of a score you can get. 
So let's try, this was master, right, or something? Ready to begin your training, then prepare your ninja stars. I got them. We have five targets this time. Oh, a bullseye. That was really cool. 98 points, plus a 30. Excellent. Another bullseye, we are destroying it right now. Bullseye two in a row. Target three. Ah, oh, not quite a bullseye, but at least we made it in the red, which is still really good. 78 points coming in. Especially since this is our first time seeing these, we're coming in so unprepared. I mean, some of them are repeats like that, but you know, we don't know what's coming up. So, so three out of four have been bullseyes. Let's see what this next one is, the final target of this difficulty. Whoa. Ah, oh, not quite a bullseye, but it is a hit. A little bit on the outside of it. 58 points is gonna go to our total there. I think that's overall really nice. Three bullseyes out of the five attempts. A new record of 522 points. Let's go for our last one, that was Warrior. Now it's time for Master. So let's see, whoa, different environment here, all the bamboo and stuff. Okay. I got a little excited with that one. Um, just sort of hesitated a bit. We got so many targets to hit, wow. Oh, it's like swinging. And it's a bullseye, because a little parachute floating it down. That's pretty cool. Um, take that one for sure. Target three. Not quite a bullseye, that was moving faster than I anticipated, but still in the red, right, I think, maybe. Oh, no, no, oh, I got, I, I don't know why I thought that was too bad. Sorry, Kirby, sorry. Oh no, so if we miss one entirely, it stops our run. So let's give that another go, because I want to get to the end for sure, so, <laughs> whoops. Whoa, this one's new. Oh, whoa, that was crazy. So maybe they're a little bit different every time? I don't know, the first two are the same, but we've gotten three bullseyes in a row. So what will this one be? It's this one again, but I still get the bullseye. Four bullseyes in a row. Target five. Oh, it's this one again. Not a bullseye. I'm just glad we made it, because if not, you know, we gotta do the whole thing over. So, target six. Whoa. Um. Oh, that was so cool. That one's all about timing. I mean, they're all about timing, but you know what I mean. 100 points dead center. That's as good as it gets. Very cool. Target seven coming up next. Ah, oh, no, I get too excited. Ah, uh, come on. Too bad. I really want to make it to the end of this one though, so we'll just we'll give it one more attempt. Let's see our score for this one. Look at all those bullseyes. We did so good. 834 points, but it's just not enough to get to the end. Okay, this time I got the target seven. Two bullseyes in a row. Target eight. It's like a snake. No way did that miss. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll leave it there then. Um, I tried my best, right? Tried my best, couldn't quite get to the end, but we got to try every mini game out a good bit and they're all super duper fun. I think that shooting one we just did, the second to last one, was my favorite for sure. And getting a little bit more familiar with all these mini games is a super good idea because we'll be trying a lot more of them, I think, in the next episode when we try out Merry Magoland. But as you can see here, we get our three remaining tickets, so we're up to 83 of them now to go and enjoy Mary Magdalene. So that's exactly what we'll take a look at, look at in the next episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.